I never thought I'd be in this position. We've officially run out of Iron Man jokes. Yeah. So this is awkward. So, uh, another suit, huh? You have a problem, you know that? Okay. Ooh, why don't you show them the light up feature you're always proud of in other Iron Man suits? Wait, you don't have them? Wow, what good are you then? So, <clears throat> oh, luckily I have my mask on, and you have a helmet, so, yeah, huh, huh. Alright, let's just get this review started. Hello and welcome back to another episode on the Ken O We channel and finally we have a 6 inch Iron Man figure from Sentinel Toys. You know who they are, they made the best Hulkbuster action figure of all time and they've made plenty of amazing Iron Man action figures but they're always on the 9 inch scale but now, now they are crossing over to the 6 inch territory. So can they still retain as the company who makes the best Iron Man action figures? Well they're off to a good start, I mean that box design, that sound, mmm sexy. But I'm still curious about the figure, so sit back, relax, set out your takeaway food, and let's take a closer look. As most of you may know, it's evident that the design of this figure is a mixture of the classic Golden Age Iron Man suit with the red underwear and the modern twist of the Bleeding Edge armor with those circles. And Sentinel Toys is known to put their own twist into these designs and the result? Well, I can see this going 50-50 for some people. For me personally, it's not the best looking Iron Man figure from this company. It looks really blocky. As in, there's a lot of clean straight lines on the figure instead of a curve. But it does play in well with the fact that it's an armor, however I wish it had more curves in certain areas. For example, taking a closer look at the face, that line across his cheek. It's as if someone took a blade and sliced his cheeks away. A curved line here would have made his face look a lot sleeker. And I do wish his arc reactor was a little bigger too, that's a teeny tiny arc reactor. And the most jarring line are his biceps, look at that, who cut away his biceps? I understand it's to maximize his bicep curls but it just looks anatomically weird. It's fine to have that on the legs because it works with his anatomy, but definitely the wrong decision for the bicep. Hashtag bring back the bicep. While I have my own personal issues with the design, it doesn't take away the fact that this is an amazingly sculpted and painted figure. The detail on this figure is immaculate. Funny enough, there's so many curved lines on his details, and paint work, matching figure arts, precision, or possibly even better. I mean, just look at all the detail on the leg. It's beautiful. Not to mention, this is a really hefty Iron Man figure because it has die cast metal not on his feet as you would typically expect but it's actually on his underwear. Well of course, gotta protect the billionaire's jewels. Actually he has die cast metal on his chest armor as well. And it does work well in keeping the gravity of this figure because it takes a little bit more effort to try and bring this figure down. And to keep it interesting, at the back you can flip these up and you can have Iron Man flying around but the most disappointing feature that they remove from the action figure line is the light up features. I was fooled into thinking they had one based on their box design but sadly I guess it doesn't work well with this scale. I feel scammed. Also for my figure unfortunately the left hand falls off relatively easy but I believe this is just a QC issue on my particular figure. Lucky me. Overall this is a beautifully sculpted and well painted figure and if you love the design you're getting the full package. As mentioned earlier, let's find out if this company retained their high range of possibility for an Iron Man figure and I'll be talking a little about their engineering work as well. So he can look up really high no problem and as you're doing that the back piece of the helmet gets covered which is a gimmick most often used but still appreciated. He can look down as well, he's got his left and right movements and his side to side pivots and most of that are contributed by the neck joint instead of the head. His armpit is on a ball joint as well and can be moved 
the round and as you're doing that the cool thing is that this piece is always moving along with the arm so no matter where you move it'll always conceal the joints within which i think is a cool and clever idea which should be adopted in all armpit movement joints if possible arm can move 360 of course move outwards really far and it tucks into that joint piece so nothing gets blocked so it's a good thing it doesn't have an additional shoulder armor piece the beautiful bicep swivel is present. Of course, you get that full bicep flex due to the half bicep muscle. Wrist can do the twists and move up and down. And this figure's not only got one, not two, but three ab cuts. Upper, mid, and lower ab cut. And like the armpit joint, as you're moving the ab around, the pieces follow to my goodness. Look at all that movement. So good. However, on certain movements, it does reveal some of the joints, but it's a small compromise as it gives your Iron Man that much of a backwards arch and that sweet, sweet forward ab crunch. And look at that side to side pivot. Mmm, that's sexy. This should be in every action figure. Such beautiful ab engineering. His legs can actually be extended by pushing it down. Without that extension, he can only kick up about that far, kick back that far, and his splits are limited as well because of the clashes between the armor pieces. But after that extension, he can fully kick up all the way and kick back that far and do that much of a split, which is a great design, but I do hope this push and pull mechanic can stand the test of time. He's got a thigh swivel as well, knee bends all the way, and there's even some details on his knee joint. Feet can move up and down and this little flap can move as well to allow more upwards movement of the feet. Feet twist as usual, his leg pivots are slightly limited compared to others, but at least he's got that toe curlers. Moving to his accessories, he comes with the usual face punching hands, face grabbing hands, blasting hands, and... Yeah, that's it. I mean, really? Not even some blast effects for those accessories at the back? Well, this is just sad. Hmm, at least he comes with a stand. We Well, actually, it does come with a few features. These plastic pieces on the sides can come off, and there's this piece at the bottom of the arm, which you can remove, and then peg it into the base stand, and you can lock the arm in place by putting this piece at the back, which is a little tricky and it does take some time, but once it's all locked in, you can slide the arm side to side without fear of it dropping. Or you can remove this extension and peg it into any of the four holes on the corner of the base stand. As for the claw, it's the typical claw hand to hold your figure and you can remove the claw and poke it at the back of Iron Man if you want to lift him higher. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. And here is the Sentinel Toys Iron Man standing next to other action figures for scale comparison. So in summary, to me, this is what a premium action figure looks and feels like. Amazing sculpt, paint work with that weight to it. It almost feels like an iPhone for action figures. And not to mention, this could very well be one of the most poseable 6-inch Iron Man action figure out there. However, to me, they did make some questionable decisions with the design and coupled with the fact that it doesn't have the light-up feature and it only has two additional pairs of hands, it does fall short from me calling it the perfect Iron Man action figure package. But it's only the first figure in this line. I'm looking forward to what they'll bring in the next figures. I can't wait. However, anything I said earlier are based on my humble opinions and i love to know what are your thoughts as well. Is this the best Iron Man action figure today or is there an Iron Man action figure out there who can beat this? Do you love the look or not? Share it with me in the comment section down below. And with that all said, I hope you enjoyed the review. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did and if you haven't already, subscribe to see more videos in the future. Thank you all for the support as always. Take care and have an amazing week. To watch more. Click here. Rider. Click here for video one. Click here for video two. Click here to subscribe. Click it. Thank you.
for watching. Arigato. Thank you.